Hey guys, here's Yi. Can't think of the last time I made a Chinese food. And today, I'm going to give you guys a Sichuan dish. And it's the most famous, okay, one of the most famous dishes in Sichuan. And it's called Yu Xiang Rou Si. And I look in internet, try to find the translation, how people actually translate it into English. And then some people say it's called fish flavored pork slices. Okay, but there's no fish in that. So it's a bit funny. Although Yu Xiang literally means fish flavored, or somebody call it shredded pork with garlic sauce. It's not exactly garlic sauce, but okay. Anyway, so this is a, a sauce in between sweet and sour sauce and spicy sauce. So it's a combination of the two. You can have this with rice, or in this case, in this video, I made some pancakes. Hopefully you enjoy today's video. For our pancakes, we will need 100 grams of flour, 50 grams of cold water, and a bit of oil. You can use vegetable oil. Here I use lard. Mix water into our flour slowly and do a couple of times until our water completely mixes it into our flour. Knead our dough until it's smooth. Then we can close it with a lid and let it rest for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we can take our dough out and roll it to a stick and separate it to equal eight parts. Each small dough should weigh around 17 to 19 grain. Then we can flatten it with our palm and roll it to a round shape. Don't roll your dough too large. It should be around 6 cm diameters. Then we can do all our 8 doughs. You're rolling it uh, like you would roll a dumpling skin. Once it's done, we take one of the dough and brush a bit of oil. Here is lard on top. We want to brush evenly and lay another dough on top and brush again on top. So we continue with this until we lay out our dough together then we can use our palm to press it both sides the bottom few times and the top few times we want to make sure our dough are all evenly similar size roughly and all round so use our palm gently press a couple of times and try to extend our dough to a large round shape Then we can use a roller to roll our dough evenly. Then we can do another side a couple of times. So we just want to make sure all layer are evenly spread out. We can brush a bit of more oil on the top. Then we're going to take a steamer and the oily side on the bottom. Then we're going to steam this for about 10 minutes until it's cooked. So here is the ratio for our Yu Xiang sauce. We will need four parts of brown vinegar, three parts of sugar, two parts of light soy sauce one part of cornstarch and two parts of water. We also need some vegetables for our stir fry. So one medium sized carrot, two garlics and two slices of ginger, 
a whole spring onion. Mince our garlic, ginger, and spring onion, and slices our carrots. We will also need some black fungus. Here I'm using these dry fungus. Soak them in boiling water for about 10 minutes to rehydrate them. We will also need about 250 grain of pork. Here I use pork back. You can also use pork neck and cut them to thin strips. Now let's marinate our pork slices. We will need two tablespoons of vegetable oil, three tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine or Chinese rice wine, one teaspoon of Chinese pepper powder. You can use either white or black pepper powder. One tablespoon of light soy sauce. half tablespoon of dark soy sauce then a pinch of salt one tablespoon of cornstarch and mix with two tablespoon of water Mix it well, then we get our starch water and mix it into our pork slices as well. Gently massage our pork slices, then we can set it aside. Now let's do the stir fry. I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil, a bit more than you usually do for stir fry. Turn our stove on high heat. And we're going to stir fry our pork slices first. It won't take too long, or we want to get this pale white color of our pork slices. And we can take them out and set them aside. Now we need one tablespoon of our chili paste and as well as one tablespoon of doubanjiang. It's optional. So adding our chili paste and doubanjiang into a wok and saute them to release the aroma. Then adding our spring onion, ginger and garlic. Saute them, then adding our pork slices do a quick stir fry, then adding our vegetables, our carrots, and the black fungus. Until our vegetables are cooked, we can add in our yuxiang sauce. Just do a quick mix, then our yuxiang rose, fish flavored shredded pork is ready and sprinkle a bit of spring onion on top and enjoy so here we have our steamed pancakes and our Fish flavored shredded pork, uh, shredded pork uh, with garlic sauce, whatever you call it. It's yuxiang rou si. And you can see there are lots of black fungus and carrots in it. Actually, you can use all kinds of vegetables inside, which is has a bit solid texture. So here I use carrots and black fungus. You could also use cucumber maybe and some Chinese veggies and uh, so they are all go great with shredded pork in this sauce. And here we have our pancakes. You could see they're all stick together but now you can try to separate them. And it's pretty easy to do that because I brushed a bit of uh, fat in between. And you just have to do this gently and try not to break it. And uh, here you can see it's pretty thin. So 
I'm just trying to do this one slowly and all you can do is to so here is one and all you can do is to wrap your uh, shred pork with wedgie into this wrap and you wrap it eat like a I don't know like spring roll or like a, a wrap so Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you like it, please give me a thumb up and leave a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with your friends if you like. Okay, see ya! Did you subscribe yet? If not, click here, click here, click here. Every day watch new videos at 6 p.m. Here are my two recommended videos. Thanks for watching. See ya. 谢谢大家.